Alpha 901 inbound on 4th Road 244. I'll be out at the Sunset 103. I'm out with that reporting party. She is stating a possible 901 near her campsite. I'm just not turning on to Sunset Crater. Can you give me any further details? Single female. Uh, she's laying face down. On a Friday in late February, a woman drove to Sunset Crater Visitor Center about 20 miles outside of Flagstaff to report she was gathering firewood and stumbled upon a body near her campsite. Deputies describe a chilling scene. I'll go check the camp. We'll just try to see if maybe we can ID her. They find a woman's body in the brush. She's petite, in a long dress. One deputy described it as homemade, and they can see her hair is pinned up in a bun. Investigators note her hands are bound with tape, and she's not wearing underwear. They say she was shot in the back of the head. Who is the thing in the right now? Okay. And that's how he found her, or? We yeah, yeah. didn't move her, nothing. In their report, investigators say they found drag marks near the body. They looked for shell casings, but found none. The camper who found her is shaken up. What I'll probably do, I think, is, <laughs> is I'm going to go down to Sedona after okay. this and see my friend. Okay. Because I don't want to be alone. An autopsy later confirmed the body is 27-year-old Sasha Kraus, who vanished from her small Mennonite community near Farmington a month earlier. She left home one cold night in January, headed to church to grab materials for a preschool class the next day, but never returned. And it's with a heavy heart that I now report that the body of Sasha Kraus has been identified and located. The discovery would end weeks of searching for Kraus and force investigators to switch their focus from missing to murder. We have partnered with the Coconino County Sheriff's Office and federal authorities in trying to identify and apprehend the individual that's responsible for Sasha's kidnap and murder. We are fully committed in capturing this individual and bringing peace to the Kraus family. People in New Mexico were shocked while people in Arizona were wondering who Sasha Krause was and how her body ended up there. Felicia Fonseca is a reporter in Flagstaff. People would consider it unusual. Tourists who have second homes, you know, up in Flagstaff who come up for the summer. Um, it's a college town, it's home to Northern Arizona University. Um, it's got a ski resort here. Reports a missing New Mexico woman may have been found dead got her attention. For the Associated Press, we were looking at it as a broader story because it covered so many states. Sasha Krause largely grew up in Texas. Um, she was 11 years old when she decided to become um, part of the Mennonite community. Krause spoke Spanish and was learning French to help with her ministry. She did things like would make sure that people who didn't understand English could understand the church services, you know, sitting next to them and simultaneously translating the church service uh, into Spanish for them. Detectives in Arizona would now focus on finding Krause's killer. Authorities say there was only one cell phone communicating with the same cell towers as Krause's phone before hers dropped off. It belonged to Airman Mark Gooch, stationed at Luke Air Force Base in Phoenix. Detectives got a search warrant and confirmed Gooch was at Sunset Crater around the time Kraus went missing. They also found a string of disturbing text messages in his phone, where Gooch allegedly talks about surveilling Mennonites. And in exchange, just days before Kraus's disappearance, Gooch is accused of writing, hmm, same for some reason. Even this morning's surveillance was boring. A bunch of old people without much to live for, and clearly not the people we grew up with. Sad to say, another disappointment. That's when detectives pay the 21-year-old a visit at the Air Force Base to see what he can tell them about Sasha's abduction and murder.